everybody welcome back to all by the popcorn my name is stephanie thank you all for clicking on this video if you're someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button the month of january has come to an end and it is time to rank the seven movies that i saw this month always anything that I did review uh, within the month uh, will be listed in the description box down below so if you would like a little bit more like insight of what I thought about that particular film you can check out the review so first off would be herself which is a prime uh, original um, this is one of like three movies or four movies on my list that did have a 2020 release um, well like a limited release or came out during of course like the film festival that starred Claire Dune and it's basically about Sandra who is trying to find herself trying to find a voice for herself she suffers from PTSD she's getting out of a very abusive relationship uh, both physically mentally and she's just really trying to build this house for her family like literally like build a house um by her well not by herself like with a small very small group of volunteers the ending in this is uh really it's gonna make you hate the husband may not be for everybody could be a little bit harsh uh to watch especially if you have suffered uh from abuse uh, i mean overall i do have a review on this so again i I know I said I wasn't gonna linger. Well, I don't think I said I wasn't gonna linger. I was gonna make sure this video doesn't go long. Um, at the end, herself, it was an enjoyable movie. Next up is going to be Lockdown. Um, it is on HBO uh, Max. So of course, Lockdown, we are set within these quarantine pandemic moments. It does start at Hathaway, and I am not even gonna attempt to pronounce the guy's name because y'all know. Yeah, I know how I am with pronunciations. I'm going to put his name right here. You know, because, like, I can't pronounce it. I do not have a review on it. Um, It is pretty slow-based type of film. We really are just at the end of this couple's relationship. That's how the movie starts. Um, They were married. Well, they're technically still married, but they have, you know, fallen out of love for each other. But because of the pandemic, because of the situations of the lockdown, they're stuck living together and they're trying to kind of get through it and everything and so we're pretty much going through the relationship as it has already fallen apart but at the end it is kind of like a heist movie but we really don't see that heist portion of the film till literally like the very end of it it was it was an okay movie. We're just we're gonna we're gonna go there. I don't think this is a movie that you need to get HBO to watch. To be honest with you, it was just okay. It's there. We're moving past it. We're gonna go on to another Prime original, One Night in Miami, which was directed by Regina King, and this was her uh, directorial debut. Um, I also have a review on this one. I think it was just an enjoyable movie. I know a lot of people really really do love the movie. Have it on their top. 10 uh, from last year because it is another one that came out um, last year. So it is partially based on a true story. Uh, we know that the night actually happened. Uh, it happened on February 25th, 1964. And it involved all these four men, uh, which was um, Cassius Clay, which we now know as Muhammad Ali, Jim Brown, Sam Cooke, and Malcolm X. We are really in a really great conversation. It is based also off of a play. Uh, so we do have that play vibe um, going on within the movie. Uh, we pretty much are set up within one uh, location which would be the hotel room we're gonna go ahead and move on to a netflix original movie in case you were not aware netflix is going to be releasing uh new movies i don't know how many was it like 70 something movies or something like that um throughout the year outside the wire it's one of those um i don't have a review on this did i do one on instagram i don't think I did. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, uh, go ahead and check me out over there. When I am feeling lazy and I don't feel like editing or putting on like makeup and getting all cutesy and stuff, I do uh, go live and then of course you can find that on my on my um, feed. Uh, just some like raw unedited reviews. Uh, so you'll follow, find them there and do some unboxing. But let's get back over here. With all that outside the wire it's a you try movie to be honest um if i can move it if son of a bitch son of a bitch Ugh. i fucked up you guys 
Okay, sorry you guys. Totally wasn't a screen recording. All right, so I'll take the wire. Netflix, it's you tried, honestly. Moving on, Peace of a Woman. This is another one that came out last year. If I had seen it last year, would have made it on my top 10. So I'm gonna just go ahead and let you know right now, it's under Wow. I totally, totally love this movie. Um, it does star uh, Vanessa Kirby and Shia LaBeouf. Amazing performances. We are following Martha, who unfortunately loses her baby right after birth so the opening like 24 minutes is kind of like a one shot uh sequence and it's done beautifully of course at the end of that is when we do see the tragedy happen so we pretty much start the movie off knowing these characters like getting to love them and like oh my god this is a great couple and then you know they go through this tragedy and then just kind of how their relationship ends up basically crumbling as of course the movie progresses but i do have a review on this so we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to the next one which would be pieces of a woman not piece of a woman i just talked about pieces of a woman <laughs> promising young woman <laughs> this is directed by emerald fennel and it does star carrie mulligan it is kind of like a revenge type thriller but it's also a comedy and it's awesome it's beautiful to look at you guys the way that they set this up this type of movie it's very like candy type situations and everything just looks so great so yummy and it's very uh, alluring it's very like it just draws you in uh, has great great music in it um this is another one that came out last year so another one i have a review on uh absolutely adore it so i'm also putting this under wow you guys i think it's been a minute since i've actually had movies in the wow tier so promising young woman does tackle the institution that basically protects these rapists like i said in my review real life survivors just kind of be wary of, of this movie because it, it may have triggers for you if you do suffer from PTSD but surprisingly enough it was way funnier than I anticipated it to be honestly I did not think I was going to laugh as much as I did we have a great cast and again uh Carrie Mulligan is the lead we have Bo Burnin we have a uh, supporting cast uh Laverne Fox Jennifer Coolidge playing the mom and she's like a brunette I don't think I've ever seen her like that she's always like a blonde Allison Brie uh Chris Fullman's Pliss um, um Adrian Brody Connie Britton and Max uh Greenfield also have little parts um in the movie I mean the script is just very sharp and fresh and I totally totally loved it all right the last movie that I saw in the month of January is another Netflix movie oh promising young woman actually is the only one on my list um that's not on a streaming service but it's available on video on demand and you can rent it for 20 dollars. but the last movie is called the white tiger it is a netflix original movie it is like a really risky way to kind of tell a story because it is being narrated uh throughout the movie by the main character who is played by i'm not even gonna attempt to say his name either here's his name he plays uh bonron we really um are talking basically like a like a rags to riches type of a film i'm assuming a lot of people are going to be comparing it to slumdog millionaire but don't compare it because i would totally 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 recommend slumdog millionaire like a hundred times over with a white tiger um it's not a terrible movie at all but slumdog millionaire if you guys have not seen that movie oh it is awesome i love it the pacing was just okay in the film but i do feel like the ending was just a little bit rushed but i mean overall it is well directed it is real well written it looks good it has great uh good acting um but at the end i'm just gonna go ahead and put it under okay honestly i really don't think it'll be that memorable but the poster though though that poster is looking really darn good. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put it up here a little bit bigger so you guys can check it out, really, because I know you probably can't see it very well in that little square that it's in. But, like, isn't this poster 
really cool and they had like a few so I'll, I'll share the other one that they have with with the cast so you can see it I mean these are the movies that I saw in the month of January let me know down below what did you guys check out did we happen to see any of the same thing so the three or four movies that did have a limited release in 2020 did you guys happen to check them out then uh, let me know down below of course uh, before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye